Hey, here's a last top, last thing on this Mitt Romney uh, uh, Bain Capital thing. Ed Gillespie, who is the was the former RNC chair. I don't know if he still is. He is an advisor in some capacity to Mitt Romney now. This is brilliant. Ed Gillespie is saying that Mitt Romney retroactively retired from Bain Capital way after. It's it, it just it, it's unbelievable what he's saying. Take a listen to this. You know, uh, Governor Romney took a leave of absence, if you, uh, from uh, his uh, company to go save the Olympics. Right. If you remember at the time. This is a part-time leave of absence, and, and there are well, times I, I, that he helped You know, there may have been a thought at the time that he could, that it could be part-time. It was not part-time. The Olympics was in a shambles. There was corruption. Right. There was the, the International Olympic Committee was going to pull the Olympics from the United States of America, which would have been a huge embarrassment because <laughs> of Mitt Romney's leadership skills. He was called on to do it. He took a leave of absence, and in fact, Kennedy, he ended up not going back at all and ret retired retroactively to February of uh, 1999 as a result. He can barely even get it out with a straight face. Let's pause it at the moment where he has this smirk, where you can like, kind of tell he knows he's BSing. Let's find it. States of America, which would have been a huge embarrassment because of Mitt Romney's leadership skills, he was called on to do it. He took a leave of absence, and in fact, Kennedy, he ended up not going back at all and ret retired retroactively to there it is. There's that little smirk where he's like, he, he retired retroactively. That's incredible, Lewis. That, that's, it's amazing that he has the capacity to do that. And let's be completely honest. Uh, retiring retroactively, retiring retroactively, he left and he was still involved in stuff during that period. And then later he retired retroactively prior to that. That doesn't undo that you were still signing stuff and responsible for stuff and managing stuff during that period. I could say, Listen, I'm going to retroactively retire from the David Pakman show in 2009. Does that mean that all of a sudden I didn't host the shows in 2010 and 2011 and 2012? This is absurd. Right. Should we make, uh, should we make the, the Hitler analogy here? If Hitler went on vacation to, uh, let's say, uh, somewhere in uh, Patagonia, southern Argentina during, uh, during World War II and... Uh, you know what? Oh, we don't even have to make it a hypothetical. Hey, I'm, Some I'm, Nazis really did go to Argentina. Imagine if they said, listen, Adolf Eichmann, I retired retroactively I was on from a being leave a of Nazi. Absence. I was on a leave of absence and I have retired retroactively. I'm in Argentina. What are you talking about? I was not uh, responsible for any of the deaths in concentration camps during that time. It, it would be really or great. If Mitt Romney could get some people jobs retroactively, imagine if that were possible. I know you've been unemployed for years, in part because my company, Bain, destroyed American Patent Paper and so all these others. Let's get you retroactive jobs that date back to the date you were fired. Well, I guarantee you he'll, he'll say he retroactively created jobs in Massachusetts somehow <laughs> if you ask him. Bottom line on this. President Obama puts up with birther bigotry nonsense for almost four years even after putting out that birth certificate, which was verified by the government, Romney is getting asked practical and logical questions about obvious inconsistencies with an area of his background, working at Bain Capital, that he himself pointed out as key to understanding why he would be a good president. And Republicans are now outraged and screaming foul because people want to see his tax returns and they don't believe when he left Bain Capital. Do you see the absurd hypocritical double standard here? I am aware of this. Yeah. Okay, no, just making sure you knew about it. Okay.